Hi guys, this is Steve from the Academy and today for our Whiteboard Wednesday, we're going to take a look at some trigonometry and just focus in on finding an angle given two sides. So in your trigonometry so far, you should hopefully have seen sine, cos and tan before. You might know it as Sokatoa to help you find the rule. Or if you don't remember those, you've got like silly old Harry caught a herring trawling off America, or you could have summer on holiday, Christmas at home, Tarzan of the Apes, whatever makes you happy. But you pick one, you kind of learn that and you're going to use that to find our rules. Now, whenever we see a right angle triangle and we're looking for an angle, that's where we know we're going to use trigonometry. And what I kind of think when I'm doing these problems is I kind of think, you know, those guys in the gym and it's like, you know, bro, do you even, do you even lifts? Okay. So think of this lifts idea to help you solve these questions. And the lifts has a couple of stages. The first stage of your lift is you're going to label it. Then you're going to identify the correct equation. You're going to fill it in. And finally, you're going to solve it. So we've got label, identify, fill in and solve. So most important stage of this is labeling your triangle correctly. So you can see there is three sides to the triangle. There's your hypotenuse, which is the longest side, your opposite and your adjacent. So on your triangle, have a look at what angle you're trying to measure. I'm trying to measure this one here. And the side that's directly opposite it, that's my opposite. The longest side is always going to be opposite the 90 degrees. So that is my hypotenuse. And the other side is my adjacent. And that's what I mean when I say label your triangle. Now, just to show another one here, the triangle can be got drawn in any direction. Okay, as long as we're using right angle triangles. So take a moment when you're looking at it to say again, okay, if that's my angle, then this side over here is my opposite. The longest side is the hypotenuse, and then the side remaining is my adjacent. You want to get confident with the labeling. If you're labeling it incorrectly, then the whole problem becomes difficult to solve. Next up then, once you've labeled it, you're going to have to identify what equation am I using? Am I using sine? Am I using cosine? Am I using tan? And for this, to find the angle given, what you're going to look at is which two sides you're given in the question. So if you're given the opposite and the hypotenuse, then you're going to use the sine rule. If you're given the adjacent and the hypotenuse, you're going to use the cosine. And if you're given the opposite and the adjacent, you're going to use tan. And we'll see that demoed in the question now. So most important part, label, identify, you fill it in. You've got most of the marks in the exam at this point, And then finally solving it with your calculator. So let's take a look at an exam style question that came up in 2013. Uh, you were given a problem with a tree. You were told in the wording of the question that the tree was 32 meters tall. And you were shown a diagram with this as 63 and you're asked to find this value, uh, theta, to the nearest minute. And we'll talk about that in a moment as well. But they're asked to the nearest minute. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this. I would redraw a triangle for myself in my exam just to give you some thinking space. But that would be 63 and this is 32. Now you're going to make an assumption in these. You're assuming that you're just saying this tree is straight up. It's at 90 degrees. They might not tell you that. You can just assume it. Um, like if it's talking about a building, you can do the same thing. Now, first thing I'm going to do is my lifts. I'm going to label. So if this is the angle, this side here, the 32 is the opposite. The longest side is my hypotenuse and the remaining side is my adjacent. I've labeled it, I've labeled it correctly. I'm gonna identify which equation. So have a look at what information you have. You have the opposite, you have the adjacent. Which rule uses opposite and adjacent? Hey presto, it's tan. Okay, so for the examiner, write the rule. Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Tan theta equals, and now we're gonna fill it in. So my opposite is 32 and my adjacent is 63. Now at this point, we're trying to find the angle. So we need to get rid of this bit with the tan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do something called tan inverse of the other side. So to get rid of tan with a theta, I do the tan inverse. If you had sine, you do the sine inverse. If you had cos, you do the cos inverse. Steve, what is that? That's just a button on your calculator. So on your calculator, now it could be a Sharp or a Casio, but on your calculator, you're gonna to go to second function 
and press tan. And you'll see a little minus one like that appear. Put it in a bracket, say 32 over 63, and close your bracket. And I get an answer of 26.927677, blah, 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 blah. two, seven, six, and so on. Now, I'm almost done this question. He did ask the nearest minute. So what I'll do is I'm gonna hit the change button to DMS, okay, which turns it to degrees, minutes, and seconds. And it'll spit it out in your calculator if you hit second function in that button. And it'll tell me that this is 26 degrees and 55 minutes. So 26 degrees, 55 minutes. And that is us done and dusted for finding the angle given two sides. So brief recap, to find an angle given two sides, you need to straight away start thinking, it's trigonometry, I'm finding an angle. You label your sides, identify your equation, and fill it in, and after that, you're just laughing. Best of luck.